And uh, I found the tweet now. We not know. That's uh, W-E-N-O, well, capital W-E-N-O-T, capital N-O on Twitter. You'll find it. Very recent tweet. Um, so the quote that I've taken out of the article is, but are online universities the way forward? The Open University is one of the largest institutions in Europe. Then end of the quote. Then it goes on to compare the cost of an OU degree with other universities but um, what I've said I've, I've sort of um, exposed it's, it's quite difficult to get the exposed um, Twitter feeds right because there's, there's an accent on the last E but I think exposed features will get there uh, uh, so my question is what about FutureLearn Coursera edX online um, because the MOOC scene over the last four years or so four or five years um, has started to do degrees uh, or parts of degree. There's there's various ways of starting out on a on a MOOC equivalent and trading it in for something else or doing a complete degree. And there's there's also organisations just offering online degrees. Um, so I I think there's more going on even than they've mentioned in that in that article. But it's interesting to me that a ruin university is in the headline, higher education in a post-pandemic world. So I, I think it's going to go on through this academic year that's just starting, perhaps in a similar way to what happened in the, in the last one, that because of the post-pandemic or the lockdown aspects, the, the case for online education is, is going to keep turning up. Um, I'd, the ruins aren't yet, the, but but it's worth it's worth talking about. I think that's to say, for new listeners, um, I've, I've forgotten the dates at the moment. But at, 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 at some point in time, uh, Peter Horrocks, who was then vice chancellor of the Open University, went to Durham uh, and gave a lecture on the Fortress University, um, which was a way of describing existing universities. Um, and the way that online might open them up a bit. So I, w I won't go into all the critique of the Fortress University, which may or may not apply to all universities. Um, but I don't know. D D Durham, I think, and the Russell Group in, in general could do more just to ex expand the conversation because I think there's been 250 views of that lecture. It is on YouTube, which I think is a very small number. And um, I, I think they should either give permission for other people to take quotes out of it or else break it up a bit themselves just to make it a bit, bit easier to find and uh, gradually build it up. Because I think that was a very interesting lecture. Um, Peter Horrocks is, is now chair of, uh, I think they're called Learner, Learn with an A added at the end, which is a, an online, they, they're offering degrees, it's a, a sort of business school and medical. So some people might say, well, that's terrible. That's where the commercial world is going to go to and humanities, social science idea what to do. Um, well, if, if, there's, if there's no alternative coming, well, how can I put this? The the MOOC scene, FutureLearn, for example, the, the the amount of support that FutureLearn got at that time, bearing in mind Peter Horrocks had to resign because the criticism was so intense. Um, I think even now, if if you think the MOOC scene's gone too commercial, if if there was um, a, a a concerted um, project coming from the arts and humanities end. There could, there could be a, a different sort of platform or perhaps some influence on, on Future Learn and Coursera, edX and other, other people. Anyway, um, I think this is all for, the, for future discussion. Uh, let's go back to a CD. This is part of my theory that the, the CD world is coming to an end and that looking at what's happening with music and what might happen with... Um, Education is a worthwhile discussion because this this CD, which came at the Tony Braxton Sex and Cigarettes, came out quite a while ago, but it's it's pretty it's pretty good, and um, 
the the, the price of it is is uh, severely reduced, I would say, in HMV Exeter at this time. Uh, but it's still there. I don't, I don't understand why. Um, this track's called Long, Long As I Live. <laughs> <laughs> 